a sword you got there. Oh, hey, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Are you sure you want to waste it on me, though? Wait, are you? What? It's going to break in two or three hits. What? You got to think to yourself, am I worth it? I'm a nobody. It's your choice. Nah. <laughs> uh, oh, ho! Oh, hey! There's still a lot of gameplay left. That's true. Oh, that hi. is nice. Yeah. Oh, ho! Haha! Swap! Hey! Haha! Nice master sword. Yeah. <laughs> but that also breaks. <laughs> but hey, look, it recharges, so it goes back in the inventory. You just gotta wait a little bit. Oh no! Look, I, I know you don't want to wait. I got some for you. Check this out. Whoa. Check that out, huh? Uh, uh, uh. Hey! Hey! What? So, after much editing and battling YouTube bots to death, I'm saying fuck it and putting up my Zelda review weeks late. Why? Well, because despite Nintendo's corporate treating us like shit, this game deserves it. And this game's developers deserve to be praised. And I don't think they hold the same opinions on YouTube policies that Nintendo does. I played this game. And I just can't stay silent about it. And I want it here on my channel for history's sake. This thing has gotten more 10 out of 10s than I've seen in a long time. And it's rated as one of the best video games of all time. So is it really that good, I thought? Is it truly 10 out of 10 legendary status? Let's find out. First, you guys have to understand that this is my very first Zelda game. Yes, yes, get your horrified shocks out of the way now. <gasps> but after seeing all the media on it before its release, I was genuinely excited to try this one out. That new open world approach happily reminded me of my favorite games like Skyrim, especially that moment when you walk out of your ancient slumber and see the whole wide open world in front of you. It was oh so glorious. I mean, they must have spent a lot of time on the anime. Oh my god. Whoa. So beautiful. This is kind of reminding me of Skyrim. <laughs> I already know where I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> no. Straight to the volcano. We will get our asses kicked. You don't know In the fires there. of Mordor. Solomon. So, after our mostly mute hero, Link, wakes up in a restoration chamber, we slowly realize that things have gone horribly wrong. The kingdom of Hyrule isn't what it once was. Calamity Ganon, a purely evil, purpley, red shadow presence, has hijacked these mechanical guardians and turned four divine beasts that were intended to kill him, and they've turned it against our heroes. 
Only Zelda now stands in his way, locked in this eternal battle, just barely keeping him at bay while you slumbered for decades. And now, it's your job to regain your memories, grow in power, and of course, eventually, save the princess. I thought I made it clear that I'm not in need of an escort. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. I, the person in question, am fine, regardless of the king's orders. Return to the castle and tell that to my father, please. Well, excuse me, princess! So the first thing I noticed and was genuinely shocked by was the lack of hand-holding. I expected since Zelda and Nintendo appeal to, to kids and adults alike that there would be some more structure and guides and linear, you know, like excessive tutorials. But aside from Zelda's disembodied voice guiding you from time to time, marking the main storyline on your map, it's not like that at all. You kind of have to figure it out yourself. Hell, aside from the starting area on a plateau, once you get your hang glider, you can literally go anywhere you want and do whatever you want. And yes, you can go straight to the boss to attempt to beat the game right away, skipping all the content if you felt like it. And shit, I got crushed just trying to even get close to the castle. One of those, holy shit, what the fuck is that? Oh shit! Oh fuck! Wow! Joe, why didn't you dodge? I don't know what the game over. But see, that wouldn't be any fun. The fun in the game comes from so many things. Exploration is done so well. Taking your time, discovering all that this world has to offer and it's amazing animations and attention to detail. Come on. Other horses will jump. What's the jump button on the wall? <laughs> he didn't like it. That's actually a little more realistic than other horses. I like I, I like how I saw that animation of that horse like you know falling down the mountain. That was cool. That's some attention to detail. Engaging in activities like looting enemy camps, taming and befriending horses that really feel like your companion. Finding towers in the game that reveal sections of the map a la Ubisoft games. Solving puzzle shrines to give Link more health and stamina while opening up fast travel points to get around easier. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Pressing that. Oh, cool. Ba bam What? Boom. Oh my god, that is a record time. I've never seen anybody do it like that. God me. You are amazing. What is your name? Oh, what's that? OJ? <laughs> Fucking awesome. <laughs> Here, take two of these. What? So kind. He gave me two. <laughs> In fact, it's so much fun that you can often forget what the hell you're actually supposed to be doing. You know, Zelda? Someone's kind of waiting for you desperately. Well, excuse me, princess. You know what? I don't need you. I don't need any man. I can do this myself. I love that you mostly figure out things for yourself. It's left up to you how exactly to approach bands of enemies out in the world. Do you use stealth? I suck at stealth. 
<gasps> Sneak strike. Oh, you oh, fucked yeah, it up, no. man. This ain't the Xbox controller. Oh, no. Ah. I did it. <laughs> yeah, I did fuck it up. I pressed. Oh, fuck. I pressed you knocked his ads. weapon out. Do you go charging in? Sure, but I got my ass kicked and I failed a lot. Oh, oh, look at this. Fly. 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 That's what Fly. 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 That's badass. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Oh. <laughs> so that Just you one's wait. A fucking badass. Just you wait. I'm getting used to the controls. And that's the other thing, the difficulty. You're gonna die. A lot. Yeah. Oh, fuck! Are you kidding me? You fucking, you fuckers. You motherfuckers. How dare you. I'll never fucking listen to you again, you fucking assholes. I loved this game's difficulty, and how I slowly started to overcome it and learn its intricacies. It's like Nintendo's version of Dark Souls. Not quite that hard, but, but like that. There's some seriously hard baddies here, especially early if you run into them too soon. But there's also a ton of easy ones too. There's almost always a clever way to approach things like rolling boulders to take out a group of baddies, or shooting explosive barrels to make short work of things. Again, it's all up to you. You can make it hard on yourself, or you can make it fucking easy. And I love this type of freedom. <laughs> You're gonna throw an explosion bottle at another explosion? Yeah. Great idea, Joe. Oh, 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 he picked up Didn't his work. club. Oh, oh <laughs> shit, he's gonna say, I'm gonna show you how it's done, you weak fuck. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, That's what I was oh, trying to do! You just got punked! That's what I was trying to do! The AI in this is fucking awesome. We just killed you everybody. Said, oh, okay, never mind. I had to take that back. He killed himself. Well, they are goblins. They are little that retarded. explodes, Joe! I was testing it out. He tested it for you. But you, you saw me. You saw me throw no. it. Why didn't it explode when I threw it? Because you're weak. It may be frustrating at first to figure out exactly how to approach things, but when you do, you get that sense of discovery and accomplishment that's so very rare in games these days, and it makes for really memorable moments. Woo. This is a really cool way to get around. I mean, they're so creative with this sand. Was this in any other Zelda game, or is this something unique to? Th oh no! <laughs> no my shit. But the first thing you're gonna really need to figure out how to do is to cook. I was surprised at the amount of cooking required in this game. So much so that Link was making me feel like less of a man, okay? That boy can cook. Cooking this and cooking that, and I can't cook shit. I mean, I can cook steak and salmon, but that's it, you know? It, but cooking is such a integral part of this game. If you travel into the cold mountains, you're gonna need to cook yourself a spicy meal that will warm you up. Same if you're surviving heat near lava pits. And it's kind of fun seeing what kind of crazy creations and recipes you can discover. <laughs> How much further? Oh, I... <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, ha, oh, hey, ha, ha, oh, oh, ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, my favorite. How did you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a little too much cooking for my tastes, but I get it. I rolled with it. It works here. It's a part of preparing for the road ahead. 
prepping for particularly rough battles or long journeys, it, it really adds purpose. Now, where the game makes its first misstep for me is the lack of button mapping. God damn it, I can't get the fucking button layout. Here, for you. Here can I switch it in the menu, like no. to something that's more Xbox or PS4? There's no remapping? God damn you, Nintendo. <laughs> you can't change anything to your liking. Oh, except X for B and B for X. The fuck? Why? For an Xbox, PC, and PS4 owner like me, coming in here, it was a bit frustrating as I was constantly making mixed clicks and fumbling around the menus way too much and I ended up doing things that I don't want to do all the time. It sucked balls. Now, many of you probably don't have that problem since you play Nintendo games all the time, but you have to understand there's new people coming in all the time. I had to retrain myself for Nintendo's way only, and then untrain myself going back to the other games. A simple update to the game would add this a much appreciated feature, button mapping. However, once you get used to it, it works fine. Locking onto enemies allows you to fight them easier, learning how to parry and go into this badass slow-mo mode, it really helped taking out larger enemies that were otherwise wrecking me in combat before. <laughs> the fucking shit, I was... I feel like I need another one. Yeah, <laughs> I know I felt. Oh, that's not the right that's button. That's not the right button. <laughs> Fuck, I could have had him. Yeah, you could have. Fuck, you almost do though. <sighs> Bam, right here. Well, I actually didn't time that correctly. That just gave it to me. <laughs> what? They're like, fuck this. I'm They're getting like, yeah. tired. <laughs> like, These guys are fuck chumps. This. These guys are chumps. Wow, you're crazy strong. Did you not see how many times it took us? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> See, that the combat is so satisfying in this game to me. Blocking with your shield, waiting for opening, seeing how your opponents telegraph certain big attacks, and then going in for the kill, and deciding when to dodge the hell back out. It's addicting, and it is a great part of this game's success, especially with a, a wonderful, awesome variety of weapons. Swords, axes, spears, bows, boomerangs, lightning rods, and fucking done more. There's some real cool looking shit here. Although, I could have used a little bit better quick equip system and perhaps some way to immediately drop the weapon I was holding to pick up one weapon that I just found, as the inventory spaces can get pretty tight quickly. That is, unless you find these cute little Korok dudes hiding about the world who will give you these seeds to expand your inventory and do a little dance to boot. Dicky Shaka. <laughs> Alrighty. One seed. Da na 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 na. There's just so much to see and do here. Even in seemingly empty spaces, there's secrets to be found. I'm looking for a rock, just to see to put him in there. Ta-da! <laughs> That's cool. Bye-bye. I like finding those little guys. And that's, the world is just filled with this stuff. This game does such a great and wonderful job of rewarding your experimentation all of the time. Anyone who says this world is empty is full of fucking crap, or there's too much walking or running or, or, or horse riding. It's a fantasy world. That's what you're supposed to do as you get around. And honestly, I didn't expect this much variety and I was pleased with how much we could really customize our play experience and even Link himself. I fully expected to play Link looking one way, but no, there's tons of RPG loot here with some light armor customization, uh, you know, allowing you to mix and match colors and make Link look pretty badass. Hell, you can even end up cross-dressing and playing the rest of the game in Gender Swap Rule 34 if you want to. <laughs> 
terrifying, I know. Sorry, unfortunately, the cool weapons that you get along your journey, they won't last very long. Yes, the game's biggest annoyance to me is of course, the far too punishing weapon damage system and degradation system. Your weapons will just break all the time and it completely breaks my sense of immersion that this game's so wonderfully set up because some of these weapons should really not be artificially breaking like this. Thankfully, pretty much every enemy can drop their weapon, so there's plenty to choose from and recycle in and out, and eventually you learn to just use your weapons, because there's nothing really that you're saving it for. Uh, it's just, it, 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 I wish it wasn't there, or, or tweaked a little bit to where they would break less often. That would be fine. Again, something totally fixable. In addition to those weapons, Link also has these special abilities that are really awesome. This is how the game, you know, goes a step further, that you get these tools, and you do get them very early on. I think within playing about two hours, you'll have them all. And I'm told that in previous games, you would get these special abilities doled out a bit slower as you progress through, through the game. But here I didn't mind getting them all early, as it allowed me to interact with everything in the world right away and always have that key to the solution on my person. And th that works because of the other incredibly fun part of the game, the shrine puzzles. You're gonna use this to get somewhere that you need to get. And this is freaking cool, by the way. Yeah, it is. I feel like Magneto. <laughs> Joe, build a- Oh my God! <laughs> oh shit! You idiot! <laughs> All across the land are these little mini dungeons that were so enjoyable to do. No matter if they were easy or hard puzzles, they were creative and a joy to interact with. And I don't normally enjoy puzzle games, but I really like these. Especially watching my friends try to figure them out. Joe's just jumping into the water I was making without sure. a plan. That's, that's the kind of man Joe is. He goes in without a plan. Bam. He figures it Bam. out. Bam. As we go. Nah. What? Go and look through your powers. No. Don't. Go <laughs> God damn it. It's a button. There goes my <laughs> fucking spear. You get it? There goes my new I, spear. I can reach. No, that's way too close. Bam. Oh, oh good job. <laughs> Proud of you, Joe. And this is the sense of discovery. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I was about to say. This is the sense of discovery. No. And this feeling of accomplishment. <laughs> and you spilt your balls all over the place. God damn it. There are also four bigger dungeons, which some have said are a, a bit disappointing compared to previous Zelda dungeons. Now, I don't have the context of the previous game's versions, but these four here were great for me. And honestly, some pretty cool spectacles and set pieces. Each one unique looking, divine beast with its own puzzles and, and sort of mini Ganon boss at the end. I usually hate getting stuck in dungeons or uh, even the thought of, of slogging through one, but here I was excited to get to that next one and explore each one of these on the map. Well done, in my opinion. Yeah. Yes. I'm a fucking genius. I'm also told that this is the first Zelda game to truly have voice acting. But sadly, it's pretty limited here, guys. I mean, mostly it's just the past memories and a few critical story moments. I feel that if you're gonna go ahead and put in voice acting, then you might as well go all in. I felt that way for Yakuza, and so of course, I feel that way here for Zelda, no exception. 
And honestly, with what little voice acting we do get, I'm a bit surprised at the low quality of some of it. Many read their lines stiffly and sound kind of off tone. I, I would have appreciated at least a Japanese track or something, which I find in these games uh, have far better emotion to them. Oh man, oh man, oh man, what am I gonna do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Huh? Huh. <sighs> 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 And that minimalist attitude extends a bit to the music as well, which is pretty inconsistent and uh, very quiet at times. Turn off the music. No. Yes. If I have to deal with it, you have to deal with it. Now, the mistake is on me, however, it brings to bear some of the... <laughs> I heard it skip. Go back to the beginning. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to cut off. We were nope. like a momentary. <laughs> Kill me. Kill me. Honestly, the music in the Goron area is not very good in the city and over here. Like, I don't know shit about Zelda, but even I know the amazing music tracks that have come with them over the years. And while there are some really good ones here uh, during important moments and in the cities and like, there's, there's also some pretty lame ones and and stinky funny tracks too. Dude, that's a pretty good impression, right? <laughs> As for the technical aspects, yes, I did run into some frame rate drop only while playing in TV mode in the cities and some forest areas, and that's a damn shame. It worries me about the power and potential of the Switch console if its premier game that has taken its time in development is having these types of issues Gen 1. And despite being at 30 frames per second, that doesn't bother me as much uh, as lower draw distances and occasional pop-in from time to time. Throw your spear! Uh, ah! Oh, he said it didn't throw far enough. That fucking thing's gonna drown it. So what the fuck? <laughs> it is magical. A magical fucking ox. Touche, ox. Touche. However, none of this was game breaking for me. And outside of one hard system crash when I tried to be a little too clever, I really didn't lose my temper playing the game. Except for once. <sighs> oh, yeah, bitch. Oh, fuck! that ever tempted me to dock any points from the score. So, is Zelda a 10 out of 10? That's fucking hard. I mean, there were so many times where I felt it was definitely a 10 out of 10. So I can completely understand that rating and I fully support it if some people feel that way. But for me, no. Just, just so short. It was a few things. The severity of the weapon degradation system. The scarce voice acting with its wavering quality. But mostly, I gotta say, it was the story and the characters. Which were good, but not quite in that stellar, memorable category that I normally reserve for my legendary ratings. In my opinion, the story is on a bit on the weaker side. I'll explain why. First, there is a glaring lack of physical villain presence or character for him. I was looking forward to seeing what this Ganon dude was all about, but all I got was kind of disappointing to me in terms of design and presence. 
is this really the guy that's been the iconic baddie in so many of Link and Zelda's adventures? I felt like I fought this particular thing already so many times by the end and variations of it that I just wish I was playing in the time period of those past memories. You know, the glorious Hyrule Kingdom in its heyday instead of this kind of, you know, dead world or gone world. Here, and here none of the NPCs were particularly memorable, deep or interesting. Uh, other than their fun looking character designs themselves, uh, and the ones that were cool just were kind of blips on the radar that, that their stories had ended centuries ago and you only caught a glimpse of it. Um, and finally, I actually never really considered that Link himself would be so, well, bland. Like a complete blank slate. Like, I always kind of assumed that he had a bit more character to him, considering how many people love him and how he's praised in this game, even the NPCs. And I get that he's supposed to be you, and you're supposed to project yourself onto him. But in my opinion, it's 2017, and those are born from older game limitations. I wonder if he's always been like this throughout all the games. Me personally, I kept wishing and hoping he'd show a bit more character and emotion. But in lieu of that, I'm fine in lieu of that with having a stellar supporting cast instead. Which I don't think that we exactly got uh, this time around, with a few exceptions. So, for now, the final verdict is yes, the highest possible 9 out of 10 that I can give with the easiest badass seal of approval I have ever issued. Simply go out and buy this game if you can, it's worth every penny. If you don't have a Switch or Wii U, make it a point to play this game in the future when those prices come down and when you can afford it. Even if it's the only game you play on the system, it's that good. It truly is a system seller like Halo was for the original Xbox. I fucking love this game to death. And for it to have all these nagging things for me here and there and still get a damn near 10 out of 10 is a testament to the game's superior developers. And I am now a huge fan of the Zelda franchise. And I'm mad at myself for not having played any of the previous games because I didn't think I'd like them. Well, I was wrong. I was dead wrong. The, maybe the slightly better story and characters are probably in one of these past games. But this one here was a wonderful starting point and there's no doubt in my mind that this franchise has its 10 out of 10 coming right around the corner if it improves from here. I cannot wait to see what they do next time. Hopefully it's right in the mix of its clearly lively and vast universe and mythos instead of sort of post that stuff. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. May the Triforce be with y'all. <laughs> Too many weapons on the ground. What the fuck? These are all the weapons I broke? Joe, this is a fraction of the weapons I broke in the game. It would be up to here in my house. It's gotta be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs>